Hello friends and welcome back. Today I am filming another try on clothing haul, but today I'm partnering up with Nasty Gal. I've never bought anything from Nasty Gal, so when they reached out I was super interested to see what's on their website, see what they've got. And they actually have a plus size section, which I was so surprised by, but also so impressed with. The plus size section of their website goes from a size 16 to a 24, which is pretty much unheard of. And I feel like most stores that stock those sizes, they're all just like mum clothes. So I am so excited that Nasty Gal actually has cool clothes to fit those sizes so I picked everything that I got today from the plus size section but I'll have all the links and my sizing all down below along with a link to the Nasty Gal website and my discount code which is Georgia R55 which means you can save 55% off which is so good but again everything will be linked down below I'm gonna jump into this haul and show you what I got I'm gonna start off with my favorite item I think this was the first thing that I saw on the website and I was like yes I need it I got this cool little mini skirt which is black and just got white stars all over it. How cool is this? It has a cute little frill down the bottom as well, which you probably can't see on camera because it's black, but I feel like it just like adds a little dimension to the skirt and it also just doesn't make it really unflattering because it is like a pretty straight line skirt, if that makes sense. Just a classic little skirt that you can just pair with a white tee and some sneakers or you can dress it up with a cute little like singlet top and some heels or some strappy sandals. I think this is super versatile and I think I'm actually going to get quite a lot of wear out of this, so I'm very excited. I also got a few pairs of shoes. So the first pair I got are these platform black strappy sandals which are so cool again i feel like this item is kind of hard to show just holding up but you'll see it on the try and clip anyway but it's just got a really really big platform it's got like i don't know what the term is called but almost like a cork espadrille i already have a pair of just plain black strappy sandals like this just without the platform but i feel like the platform just makes it look so much cooler and just like adds so much and i am not very tall so having that little bit of extra height while not wearing heels is incredible you could wear these with like the skirt that i just showed you or you could just wear them with a pair of jeans and just dress up an outfit like that i also got a couple of pairs of jeans and i feel like jeans are really a hit or miss and i feel like these are definitely a hit but i just got my sizing wrong i normally have to size up in jeans so i I ended up getting these in a size it says US 16 so I think that means an Australian 20 but I think if I were to repurchase jeans from Nasty Gal I would probably go a size down than what I did up I don't really know I think I'd get two sizes smaller than what I got I don't know if that makes sense I don't even know what size I am I swear I'm a different size in every single thing I own but I feel like I'm normally a 16 to 18 in jeans and I got these in a 20 so I'd probably just stick to your size don't size up don't size down if that makes sense but these jeans are so cool so on the front they're a bit of a darker wash denim and then on the back they just flip to a lighter wash which is so fun they're also a mum jean style so they're a little bit baggy and they just go straight down the leg um, I have worn these before and I just tucked a belt on and it seemed to be okay but because they're so big they're really really high-waisted <laughs> because they're meant for a bigger person than me definitely still wearable but I think if I were to get jeans again I would just get my normal size and not question myself <laughs> and the second pair of jeans I got are pretty much the exact same style as the last one but they're just the same color wash of denim all over Again, mum style goes straight down the leg. Again, I got these in size 20. Would have got them in a size maybe 16, 18. But I really, really like the colour. I think it's just like a classic pair of mum jeans that you can wear with a cute little dainty top and some heels or you can just dress it down with some sneakers and a t-shirt, which you guys know is my ultimate fave. The second pair of shoes that I got are these little wedged heels. These are so cute and I don't have anything like this. I don't even have many heels in my collection to begin with. And I just feel like these are just going to go with so many things. I feel like a white heel is just like a classic, you know? Again, the platform and like the wedge has got an espadrille. Is that espadrille? Yeah. Thank you, my background fashionista. You're welcome. <laughs> I have them and they're the best. Literally, both of the shoes I've showed you, Rachel already has and I got them because she has them and I like them. They look really intense, but... Yeah, but I feel like, like when you're wearing them, they don't. No, like they, they are a lot more wearable than I think they look. Yeah, obviously you'll see them on the try on haul, but I think these are so cute and they're going to go with so many things. I got another skirt, but instead of a mini skirt, I got this really long midi skirt, which I think is so fun. It's just got elastic around the waist and it is black with white polka dots all over. It. You guys know how I like my polka dots. <laughs> I think this would be so fun to just wear with a plain white tee and just plain white sneakers. I feel like the skirt kind of just speaks for itself and you don't really have to do much to it. It's really comfy, it's really flowy, and I'm so, so comfortable and confident in this skirt. The only thing is that the elastic around the waist does kind of move around, so you just have to make sure that it's straight all the time. But it also has a little frill of material on the top, which I think is so cute if you like tuck a tee into it and you can see the frilling on the outside. So cute, big fan. 
I also got a couple of dresses. So the first one is this little black dress. I have seen this style of dress literally all over the internet and I've always been so scared to choose it, but I just went for it. I figured Nasty Gal would be the website to do it because I can just size up and hopefully it can fit me. And I love it so much. I wish that I had done this sooner because I think the cut is so flattering. It's got little puffy sleeves that you can either wear on your shoulder or just have on your arm so you can make it off the shoulder if you want. It's got really stretchy elastic across the top and then it just has a little cut here to like separate the top and the bottom of the dress if that makes sense. But the dress is black and it's got white spots all over it and then it has a little red flowers as well which I think is so cute. Obviously you guys know me I would just pair this with a pair of white sneakers but you could do it with black sneakers, red sneakers. I just think this is so fun and so comfy. The only thing with this dress is that it's the tiniest bit short um, but I'm a very short human so that doesn't really bother me and it's a pretty good length on me but if you're any taller probably wouldn't recommend. The last pair of pants that I have to show you are these really fun, not linen, I don't know what you would call these pants. What do they call it? Oh a tapered trouser. That makes them sound very lame. <laughs> they're cute. So I guess you'd call these a trouser but they're just a big pair of flowy pants and I feel like these are just a classic like festival outfit to wear. Just pair these with a t-shirt and a pair of dogs and you're set, you're good to go. Again for the bottoms I got these in a size 20 and I shouldn't have so they are a little bit big but they do have belt loops so just chuck a belt on and you're good to go. They're a little bit long on me as well because as I've said three times this haul I am short um, but you can just cuff up the bottoms and they stay really nicely. I think these are so cute and so fun and I don't own anything like these in my wardrobe so I'm very excited to add them to my collection. The last pair of shoes that I have to show you are a pair of white sneakers. I feel like these are very outside of my comfort zone and I didn't think they would be but they're just very big sneakers. <laughs> these kind of remind me of Air Force Ones or like the Winsor Smith platform sneakers because the platform is so high but I think that makes them so fun. They're just pleather all over as well which makes them super easy to clean and honestly just the inside of them is really like squishy and comfy and I feel like platform sneakers aren't always the comfiest but I could see myself wearing these for a long period of time. The last dress that I have to show you is one of my favorites and I've actually already worn this because I just couldn't wait until I filmed this haul. Just like the last dress I feel like I wanted to order a dress like this for so long but I never thought that it would suit me, it would never look good on my body. All the stores never had them in my size. So I picked up this little black dress. I don't really know how to explain it but it's kind of like a bodycon dress. So it's kind of tight and it ruches at the side but the front just has a bunch of material that just sits really really nicely and makes it so flattering. I feel like you can have a food baby and no one will even know because there's just so much material here. I also just think it's so fun because even though it's little polka dots all over it, it kind of just looks like a big sparkly dress when you look at it from a distance. I wore this out in the city when I went for drinks with Rachel and George the other weekend and I feel like it suited that occasion so well but I could also see myself wearing this to like a New Year's Eve party because it just looks so sparkly and cute. The only thing is the straps are in a really odd position. Um, I would personally rather them be like in here instead of out here so far because they do fall off my shoulders a little bit but that's the worst thing about the dress so I'm not mad. <laughs> and the last thing I have to show you is a cute little cream sweater. I am so excited for summer to be over and wear all my sweaters again. So I thought that I may as well just start adding to my collection again. This is just a cropped little sweater. It's got three little tortoiseshell buttons down the front, which is so cute. And you could just wear this by itself or you could wear it over a singlet and just have it open. I think I'm just gonna wear it like all buttons up and then have one side off my shoulder. I think that would be really cute. Just with some high-waisted jeans and some sneakers. Such an easy outfit, but you're still looking so cute. But that is everything that I have to show you in today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you want to purchase anything off the Nasty Air website, feel free to use the code GeorgiaR55 to save 55% off your order. And I'll have the link to the website and link to all of the items I showed you down there as well. Any information you missed, all in the description box. Also, a big thank you to Nasty Gal for working with me on this video and for having a plus size section. Honestly, great work. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will catch you in a new video really, really soon. Bye! Hey Google, play Spotify. Playing some music on Spotify.